Hi everybody, it's Elena Mazzana here and I'm sitting here in my office. It's very quiet. Not only because it's Sunday, because sometimes people are here on Sundays as well, but because it's quiet time and most people spend their time at home. So anyways, I wanted to talk about a couple of things. First of all, um, we many people are talking about uh, the importance of immu immune system and how it is important to strengthen your immune system, especially now um, that we are all faced with this um, situation uh, with with the pandemic and um, I'll share one thing um, I personally ha started doing a lot of research about immune system what it does and, and its defense mechanisms and how, how it works in your in your body as, as a system um, and um, I had a um, this little condition in my bronchi, my left bronchi, which was a little bit irritating for many, many, many months. Um, and I did go to a doctor finally, and I say many months, that's since November of last year when I went to New York. I worked there and I got sick, um, and my mom got sick, even my daughter got sick. So, you know, and honestly, my mom had to be taken to the emergency room because she developed this bronchitis. We all went to the emergency room. Um, they've detected no flu, but they said there was some sort of viral infection. They had no idea what it was. So who knows what it was, right? We don't know. <clears throat> now, after that, we've all had bronchitis for some time, and um, slowly I started recovering from it. But for some reason, I had this cough and this this feeling as if. There's some sort of like liquid there and itchy and irritating. So I've had it, it bothered me. It really, really bothered me, especially now with all the virus, coronavirus news. And, and it just, I keep, I kept thinking about it. My God, am I really at a risk? I mean, having this respiratory issue. So I did go to a doctor last week and my, do and my doctor said, um, it, it could be asthma. So... I'm like, my God, I'm having asthma. I don't want to have asthma. <laughs> so, and, and he prescribed me uh, prednisone, pred prednisone. So I did get prednisone. Then I did some research about prednisone. And, and I read that there are some side effects such as um, it actually lowers uh, you, the function of your immune system to fight off infection or viruses. Because asthma is about um, your immune system overreacting to protect you right so there was and I realized there was some sort of reaction happening in my in not lung but bronchi where my immune system was producing this re re reaction of you know releasing cells to fight something off but there's nothing to fight off it's just more of a like a glitch in the system so to say and that's something that I realized especially that I started understanding more about the immune system as I'm you know, creating some programs for for my clients so and then what I did is this I said to myself I did some meditation some um, deep hypnosis deep meditation and I said I'm not gonna take prednisone I, I'm not gonna take that especially now I want my immune system to be strong but what I wanted is I wanted my immune system to restore um, realign um, and balance so that it only attacks pathogens, bacteria, viruses, or whatever, whatever, when it's needed, when it's absolutely needed. So I went into deep trance and, and I, I set out an intention to restore, balance my immune system, to realign my immune system. And and it's already been more than a week that I'm, I'm fine, I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I visualized my immune system, I visualized my lungs, my bronchi clearing, and I've directed my immune system. I've communicated with it, <laughs> like to a friend. You know, I, 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 I really established some sort of communication with it in a deep relaxation, and and it's it's interesting, really, how um, how we can communicate with our bodies and how we can set out certain intention, especially in a very deep relaxation. So that's something I wanted to share. Something that um, I, I suggest that many of you um, can take a chance, you have time at home, and start practicing deep relaxation, deep meditation, and uh, visualize your immune system because 
what's the main function of your immune system? It's to fight off pathogens, viruses, bacteria, also um, to attack cancer cells. So, and things like uh, an autoimmune disease that's 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 the dysfunction of your immune system right it's it's your immune system overreacting so if any of those things are there autoimmune disease like like uh, you know asthma or, or or skin problems um really direct your immune system and communicate with it to balance and restore to to realign itself Okay, and, and, and do some powerful visualizations. Take your time. Sleep is absolutely important now. Get seven eight, uh, to eight hours of sleep because it's, it's, it's crucial for your immune system. It's already been proven. Um, and another thing that I'll share next time, um, the power of forgiveness. And there, there has been um, uh, cases and studies um, in cognitive behavioral therapy that have shown the power of forgiveness and letting go of shame and guilt um, on the strength of your immune system. It really strengthens, strengthens your immune, immune system. So, And we're going to talk about more about that later. But in the meantime, get good sleep, visualize your immune system, and communicate with it. Tell it to realign, restore, and um, balance in your body. All right. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.